Hello, I'm Crispin and welcome to Poker Room Review, your guide for live poker rooms all across the world. In each episode, we review a live poker venue, discussing the important things you need to know when planning your next poker destination. For each venue, we review a range of characteristics, including location and access, game options, service and experience, and rake and rewards. We also discuss the rules, quirks, and issues relating to each location. Today, we are moving from casinos to a community poker league known as Shark Poker in Perth, Australia. You'll know that previously we reviewed the Crown Perth Entertainment Complex, however the Crown Poker Room has a rather unlikely competitor. So let's get into it. Category 1, Location and Access. Right off the mark, things get quite quirky, because Shark Poker doesn't have a single permanent location. This is a product of the unique regulations in Western Australia. Community poker leagues such as Shark Poker are not permitted to run single location card rooms. Instead, licensed venues located throughout Western Australia are able to host a Shark Poker event once per week. Therefore, Shark Poker offers a rather unique experience of being played at a different location around the Perth metro area each time, often at multiple venues throughout a single day. We filmed at several locations to get this footage, and as you can see, there's quite the diverse setting. Whether you like this is a matter of personal taste. Certainly if you're a Perth resident and play poker only casually, then it's likely ideal as there's sure to be at least one venue in close proximity to where you live. Also, if you're a visitor and want a reason to see different parts of the city, then it's a useful excuse for doing so. Moreover, nearby accommodation is generally going to be a bit cheaper since most of the games aren't being run in the inner city, opening up a range of Airbnb possibilities. A few venues are easily accessed via public transport, but that's true for only some and not all. The reality is that Perth is a large urban sprawl, and unless you're driving, it's nearly impossible to conveniently travel to all these various venues. Many of these are located in outer suburbia. So if you're not road mobile, you're going to have to prioritize which shark venues you do visit. If you're in Perth, you should definitely sign up to the Shark Poker Facebook page to get all of their most up-to-date scheduling and also download the Let's Go Poker app available in the App Store. Links to both are in the description below. Overall, being forced to move from location to location is obviously a bit of an annoyance for a committed player, but Perth is a beautiful city and Shark has managed to walk these restrictions remarkably well. For location and access, three stars. Category two, game options. This is an area where shark poker really shines. While the casino just offers live cash games, shark poker offers cash games of both Hold'em and Pot Limit Omaha, and also a dizzying array of tournaments with a variety of buy-ins and structures to suit your preference. Shark poker has also seasonal tournament carnivals where they have high roller tournaments, PLO 20s and an accumulator main event, just to name a few. And unusually for a community poker league, these are all dealer dealt. Small tournaments are usually completed at a single venue. These often cost around 70 Australian dollars, while bigger tournaments can be located in various venues over several days. The highest buy-ins are around 1,500 to 2,000 Australian dollars, offered as a monthly special. Cash games are typically 2-5 and 5-5, but sometimes an occasional big game will also get up. The main limitation is that these higher buy-in events have strictly limited seat numbers and they end up playing more as a sit and go. This is because there's a somewhat arbitrary regulation that community poker leagues cannot offer prize pools of more than 50,000 Australian dollars in Western Australia. This also means that major international leagues such as the WPT and WSOP cannot run their series in this jurisdiction outside the state's only casino, which due to the staffing requirements, the casino has no interest in hosting. This regrettably leaves Western Australia off the international poker circuit map. Given that the overwhelming majority of money from these events comes from foreign and interstate visitors, this is something that the local government may wish to change. 
The license restrictions are an obvious limitation, especially on days with just a single venue. But again, Shark Poker does the most with what they're given and is currently the only poker league in Perth providing live dealer dealt tournaments. Combined with the different cash games offered at every Shark Poker venue, the game options are more than adequate, even though we won't be seeing major branded open field events until the regulations change. Three and a half stars. Category three, service and experience. Shark Poker is owned and run by poker enthusiasts, and it shows. Dealers are fast and helpful. Tournaments and cash games are diligently managed, and wait times are brief and reasonable. At several venues, non-alcoholic drinks are complimentary, with quality barista brewed coffee being provided. Although note, this is not the case everywhere. Shark Poker also has chip runners that efficiently bring you chips and take cash or FPOS transactions without holding the game up in any way. Players are allowed phones at the table, including headphones, provided they're not actively on their phones while cards are in front of them. But most notable is the attitude from staff and players. It's a relaxed, friendly atmosphere with lots of discussion and banter at all times. Don't be surprised if you make friends quickly with the dealers and players. Staff go out of their way to be helpful and make players feel comfortable without being unfair or bending essential rules. When playing Shark, it's easy to forget this isn't a private game with friends, given the setting is usually some quaint Irish tavern with quiet music and good food available to order. If we had to criticize, the tables and chairs are a bit on the Spartan side. This is kind of inevitable because they have to be packed away and moved from venue to venue in short order. The other concern some may have is with security, given that the venues lack surveillance or security personnel, although as mentioned, the staff are professional and I honestly have not noticed any problems. Finally, Shark Poker has massages available for purchase at the tables, adding just that extreme level of player comfort. Overall, the atmosphere at Shark Poker is what any person looks for in a community poker league with great service, positive and fun attitude, and a great range of options. For service and experience, four stars. Category four, rake and rewards. This, again, is where the wheels come off whenever playing poker in Australia. The cost of wages, taxes, and doing business means that standard rake is 10%, and the same is true at Shark Poker, which is 10% capped at four big blinds. This rake is even more severe than Crown Perth, which caps at three big blinds. However, unlike the casino, Shark is obliged under regulation to contribute a significant portion of its revenue to local charities in order to operate. Knowing this, one can pay the higher rake with somewhat less prejudice, knowing that the extra money is going to a good cause. Shark Poker does occasionally run bigger games such as 510 and 2525, and these rake structures are considerably more appealing though the biggest games are most commonly Pot Limit Omaha. When it comes to tournaments, the rake is a little better, even though again, some of the buy-in does get attributed to charity. Note also that the gambling winnings in Australia are completely tax-free. Therefore, nothing will cut into your winnings if you take down a major prize. Still, there's no way of getting around the fact that rake is expensive in Australia and at Shark Poker, two stars. And finally, the rules, quirks, and issues of Shark. Being a community poker league, Shark Poker's rules are more relaxed and that's part of the charm. Players can buy the button, double straddle, and new players to the table will be dealt in straight away from any position without having to post a big blind. Obvious mistakes by recreational players are dealt with generously, and players tend to be pretty chivalrous about that kind of etiquette. And as mentioned, because it's usually a bar or tavern, many other things can be going on in the background at the same time as poker, completely unrelated to any form of gambling, meaning you can hop from one activity to another. One of the great advantages of Shark Poker is that it really has something that should appeal to every skill level and player type. Whether you're an absolute beginner looking for an inexpensive night of entertainment, or a seasoned veteran wanting cash games or higher buy-in tournaments. There is something for you. One charming aspect of Shark Poker is that at several venues, they offer a free league that's aimed mostly at people with disabilities or from other disadvantaged communities, and that is in addition to their other charitable contributions. That means that people can be socially engaged into poker at no cost 
but under the supervision of trained tournament directors. Most of all, the people who own and run Shark Poker really love the game, are deeply knowledgeable and great to talk to. The player pool is equally engaging and is a great way to meet people in Western Australia. Shark Poker has also mastered the back-end administration with their own app and a constantly updated Facebook page. They're constantly innovating with new venues, tournaments and cash games to suit every taste, which gives the sense of being quite dynamic. The main limitations are those specific to the WA regulations relating to community poker, namely that time played at each venue is limited and the maximum prize pool is capped. Rake is also high, but not wildly out of step with the rest of the country. Maybe once these restrictions are lifted, Shark Poker will be able to put Western Australia back on the circuit map, but until then, drop in when you're already in this part of the world to a Shark venue. Three and a half stars. We review new poker rooms regularly, so if you found value in this content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because that's the only way YouTube will know this is the case. Also, please, if you have access to any Facebook groups or poker forums, consider sharing this video because getting more views is the only way we can create more content. In the meantime, have you been to Shark Poker in Perth? If so, what did you think? Is there anything I've missed or recommendations you'd like to include? Please comment down below, I'm sure everyone would appreciate it. If you want to check out more reviews, you can do so right now. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.